انت موجودين النهارده وحبيت اعرف حاجات اكتر على محركات ميني والانجنز المختلفه الكتيره اللي موجوده سواء الكوبر كوبر اس والنهارده عندنا مفاجاه كوبر اس اي توبي شتايدز من الديفلوبمنت بتوع ميني هيكلمني اكتر على المحركات اللي موجوده وخصوصا السؤال اللي حضراتكم كلكم سالتوه وكلمتوا عنه الكوبر على الكانتري مان خصوصا الانجن التلاته سلندر هيبقى عامل ايه هنحاول نعرف اكتر نايس تو ميت يو اند كونجراتليشن في نيو كار نايس تو ميت يو هاي ذا انجنز هير وي هاف اس ثري انجنز كوبر كوبر اس كوبر اس اي Let's let's try first with the Cooper is a Lee Slenders 1.5 twin turbo yeah. and in Countryman it's a big car yeah. maybe in the three doors it's uh, it's okay it's um, it's not bad in this car it's uh, for for people we don't need powerful car it's okay but here. I think that's not easy. You don't think it's enough? I can't imagine because I, I, I love I love I love a big engines. Me too. Yeah. So, uh, but we have, uh, I think, a good offer for several customers. Like you were telling me, the three door with the three cylinder is quite good. It's for good. It's it's yeah. for a sporty feeling, and in this car, I can tell you, the Cooper is is pretty good for most of customers that are just interested in having a lifestyle car mm -hmm. and have a good driving feeling and a good driving feeling is not only engine is also chassis and all the other things mm -hmm. and the comfort and a, a lifestyle product and we also can react on the thing that you might feel like the cooper and the three door is agile and really pushing forward you always have the gearbox you can react on that and on the how the three cylinder works in this car and how it works in a small car so we changed that to develop for each size a good driving feeling also for the cooper and the countryman oh. but you think that countryman will do it with this engine the countryman would do it yeah then if you're thinking about i want even more you go for the cooper s of course yeah of course but the daily use it's cooper it's enough to me yeah i think for me too because yeah. if you're just driving this car like small distance in the city the cooper is the perfect choice and you if you're going out the city you can have fun with it be sure yeah. this car I'm, i'm trying it today it's cooper s i love it i love it yeah i love it oh, it's a very good an s at it's uh, the engine it's uh, more enough it's a car Uh, transmission very good everything is very good I love it uh, yeah I love, I love it. to hear that yeah. <laughs> and this one it uh, I think that's a surprise today to see the SE yeah. SE I love a hypercar because it's uh, the future so SE it's uh, the new concept yeah. in mini I think To admit, I can only give a little detail on that yeah. because we are launching this later this year in June. Yeah, today it's, it's a big surprise to me. But it's so nice to have you here, so I give you some short information. So I think it's, first of all, it's perfect to launch the first plug-in hybrid Mini with the Countryman. Mm -hmm. Because the Countryman, in my opinion, is the perfect concept for this. Yeah. It offers the, the space to integrate all the components, the electric components. So first you have As, you, as we discussed, the Cooper at the front, yeah. the three cylinder, and the electric engine in the back, uh, giving you extra boost if you want it, or you can recuperate the, the engine if you're going down the hill. And so. Is that how much uh, horsepower in electric uh, engine? I think it's 80, around 80 horsepower, yeah. Okay. And you have the it's, it's 100. Now, uh, 100 and it's more than 200 horsepower in, in the system, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like us. It's like us. Uh, it's, oh, yeah, it's like us. This is why we call it Cooper S E. Yeah, it's because S. you get the same system um, engine. Um, Cooper? Yeah, of the Cooper S. No, more, yeah, even comparable to Cooper S. The same performance, yeah. although it's only a three cylinder in the front. And this is amazing because you get, if you don't need it in the city, you can go electric, silent, easy, smooth. But then out of the city, kick down the pedal and the boost is going like a Cooper S. Yeah. So this car changes within the most. It's so funny. So, 
it will compete as EU with us. It's not compete, it's the same family, but it's like a, it's, it's like a, so white people going to SE, not, not us. No, the Cooper S in, in all um, categories is more sporty, the yeah. sound is more, maybe more aggressive and... Uh, waiting works to, so, uh, to, to feel the sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. And the Cooper SE, so the, the performance is comparable to Cooper S. But I think the appearance is more like it's an economic car, and and it's yeah it's more variable. Like yeah, driving E mode, driving sport mode, uh, driving completely silent or give speed. So this is more for customers that may change their usage. SE, if you need to be safe or go in the in the city, electric. If you need to go powered in the highways with engine, everything in one car, you back. it's like to buy the S or Cooper, but put it in one car. You can change it yeah. depending on your needs. Yeah. yeah, so it's a good choice for everyone. That and also you can go 40 kilometers completely e-drive. Yeah, so so wow. you can go through the city. And I think the cool thing is the boost, because uh, no one would expect it, but on the traffic lights, you're the boss. If you want it, kick down and <laughs> you're the boss. Congratulations for the car or for Countryman all of this year. A lot, a lot of cars of Mini, and every year we see a lot of new of Mini. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you very much.